Welcome to the JIRA 101 instructional demo. In this demo, I'll show the basics of logging, tracking, and managing bugs with JIRA. The first thing I'd like to show you is how to manage your user profile. After logging in, simply click on your user icon in the upper right hand corner and choose Profile. From here, there are a variety of options, including the ability to change your password and to change your avatar. From the Systems Dashboard page, you'll see a link to the JIRA User's Guide. This is the quickest way to get access to online help for all things JIRA. Now I'll show you all the main menus for JIRA. We already talked about dashboards and we'll be skipping Agile and Capture. You'll be spending most of your time in the Projects section. On this drop down you can select from your current list of projects and we'll select Insight 2020. The main project screen shows the project title, the project key, various menu items, and various dashboards for the issues that are related to this project. We'll click on All Issues. The All Issues tab shows a list of all the issues that are related to this project and gives you two, very, two options, including Detailed View and List View. Detailed View shows a list of the issues on the left-hand side, including the detail of the one currently selected, whereas the List View shows a list of issues in tabular format. The Issue Details screen allows you to assign. I'll assign this issue to myself and quickly start progress on it. Note that the status has changed. I can make quick changes here, such as updating the component, or adding a label. Or I can click the Edit button to bring up the more sophisticated dialog, add a description, or edit any of the other fields. I can also add comments, track time, and resolve the issue. You can navigate through other bugs by clicking these arrows or simply return to the search by clicking this link. The search screen gives you the option between the detail view and the list view. Detail view shows the information about the bug along with a brief list of the bugs on the left hand side, whereas the list view displays all the bugs in tabular format. You have the choice between basic and advanced search. This is basic. This is advanced. In basic, you have a variety of drop downs, including project, what type of issue it is, the status of the issue, and who the issue is assigned to. Once I'm happy with my search parameters, I can save the search. Once I save the search, it shows up in my issues menu under filters and I can share it with other users. You can also share your search with an entire project team. Simply click Details, Edit Permissions. Under Add Shares, choose the project. Click the Add button. It'll show up here. Click Save. And now it's been shared. You may manage your filters from the Issues menu by clicking the Manage Filters selection. From here you can subscribe to any filters that show up in your favorite filter list. Subscription will send you an email on a regular basis based on what you select here. To remove a subscription, click on the subscription list and simply delete it. And you may also delete a filter from the Manage filter screen. Other features of the project include the project roadmap, showing the project release schedule, the project versions, project calendar, the component list, 
and the labels list and heat map. And finally, the report menu. As you can see, there are a variety of different reports included in JIRA. An example being the pie chart report. I'll show this based on components. Now these reports can be used to drill into the details on all the various issues, filter by bugs that are assigned to you or reported by you, as well as the general health of the overall project. Now for some final notes on using the help system with JIRA. As you can see in the top right hand corner, there is a question mark icon, which gives you access to a variety of help, help resources from the JIRA website. In addition to that, you'll see that help icon in various places throughout the JIRA user interface. For instance, when you go into the comments section, you'll see down here that there's a gray version of that help icon. So for instance, if I wanted to type a comment that has some bold-faced text, how do I do that? Simply I click that icon and I see that there's a quick reference card showing me all the different formatting options. So in this case I need to put the star symbol around the text I want to be bold. I'll go ahead and do that. Click Add. And as you can see, that's become bold. This concludes the JIRA 101 demo. Thank you.